Today, we're going to take photographs that look like this and turn them into AI generated photographs that look like this. This is not a perfect solution for most of the projects we work on. However, there are occasions where we build websites and the client doesn't have photographs yet, or there's not a way of creating high quality photographs, especially when I'm picking this particular client who are timber cladding specialists. Many of the projects where they deliver the cladding is of course, before it's added to the property. So getting back on site to take after photographs is more tricky. Also, they're relying in most cases on the customer taking their own photographs. And then we see some huge inaccuracies and discrepancies between them. But now with Midjourney, which is an AI image generator built into Discord, we can play around with various effects. I'm going to show you the effect that works best for me, where we upload a photograph that we find on Google, punch in the description that we need for the photograph. Don't put too much in, change the aspect ratio and generate photos that are ready to go for our website. So let's have a look at a few of the examples on the screen first, and then I'll demonstrate how we do it. Let's crack on. Okay, before we start on, let's have a look at some of the examples I've been playing with so far. So here's one photo that is a mixture of the old and new, but it's a, probably a more realistic photo of what we'd expect in terms of the installations here. What we find is with a lot of these photos, if I flick up through here, we're going to see some examples of what looks more like properties you'll see on Grand Designs. If we look at these four here, that it's been generated, we've got half stone, half timber cladding, which is what I wanted. This option here is quite realistic and the type of clientele that this particular company will be going after. We've got some then which are more extreme, fully timber cladded generated images. And if we flick back up through, so here's an example of a photo that I've uploaded. These are the results I've got from this. So UK house with half WRC, I was just seeing if it was going to recognize Western red cedar or if it would be confused by it. And so this was a good example of something that didn't quite work. We've got very modern grand attachments to a very simple traditional structured house. So we've got the brick and the cladding, it doesn't really show off the coloring of the wood. It doesn't really do what we, what we need for that. We'll just show some more examples here as well. So this one had brick at the bottom and the cladding at the top, but it doesn't look overly realistic. That also looks like it's double doors going on to no type of balcony whatsoever. So we've got to be mindful of things like that. This software is amazing, but it doesn't get it right every time. This one's starting to look realistic quite a large porch on this, but we can see here that some of the window hasn't quite rendered properly. So we could take that into Photoshop and fix it quickly. And that's certainly going to be an option I'm going to think about, or we can hold fire and look at some other options. So here, for example, this at face value looks really good. However, if we look at the skylights in the roof, there's some fixing to do there as well. One takeaway point here is that when we're working with photographs, it's unlikely you're going to have something perfect first time. This is a photo that I uploaded again, low resolution. This time I just wanted to see how it would work. Not bad at all. You can see here that the lighting has really picked up from the original photo where this isn't been taken with great lighting on a bit of a miserable day. We've got the same effect here. Again, this is quite easy to remedy and fix in Photoshop. There's a few inconsistencies here. I'm not sure what those are. We can zoom in and have a look. The skylights again are offset. And we've got a window sill on this one, but we don't on this one. But when we're in a tricky situation and we don't have photos to work with, this becomes really easy. So let's head over to Google. Now I've got a Google search open. We can see I've searched for large cladded house. We can go to the image search results. Now this is a little bit of a gray area using Google image searches for examples to give the AI tool, some inspiration. The one thing I'm looking for here is I don't want it to be slightly different. What I want to do is to take the textures from a property and really take that across as opposed to the actual structure of the house. So this is a good example here of part rendered, part cladded house, which is what we're after. Rural detached house. Be interested to see what, if it does anything with that slide in that photo. 
and at 1200 by 450 it's a high enough resolution for it to pick out what it needs from there at least i think if we open the image in a new tab now we should hopefully be able to copy that image address then head back over to discord and what we can do now is put in our prompt so i put in imagine then i can click on the prompt section paste in our url the image address goes in first then we put description so you k medium sized house i'll just go with that for now and then i'm putting two hyphens in a row and then ar i'm going to change it to a three by two aspect ratio whilst that's creating the four variations that we want to have a look at i thought we'd have a look at a couple more of these again these properties look more modern designs the reason why there's less inaccuracies with these ones is we can see i haven't uploaded an image to reference against when we upload a photo and reference against it we're going to get more realistic responses or at least that's what i find but the trade-off is we're going to end up with images that are going to need a little bit of fixing up on photoshop okay so back to this image we can see here it's picked up some brick it's got the color rendering this one's quite nice in terms of it's got the tree in front but again these images these windows aren't aligned properly here so that needs a bit of work we do have some problems with each of those images this time we're not going to use an image as a prompt one thing i've noticed is it will memorize images that you've created beforehand that's probably the reason why we've got some of this red brick in this particular example the one thing i've forgotten here is to put in the cladding they look more like a painting than a photograph sometimes we can see how smooth this area is here it doesn't quite have the accuracy of working from an existing photograph but they do look fantastic by putting the accurate prompt in by asking for it to be cladded hopefully we'll see some alternative examples if it comes up really colorful here don't panic about that the colors sort themselves out as it renders through so they always come across different colors initially so by going traditional we can see that it's gone and treated that as tudor house we can also see it's referenced the house beforehand it's really got that wrong so we're going to try it one more time and this time we're going to put in fewer descriptions once we got on the case for this and we get into a flow it does become a little bit easier this time i'm going to put in fewer instructions and hopefully this will yield the type of results that we're looking for okay so this is really nice we've got the property in a rural area this one again works really nicely there doesn't seem to be many imperfections with that that's something we could definitely use on our website and the lighting's really nice on there as well the only problem we've got with this is that they all start to look quite similar this option here for example has got the coloring on the timber and we want to show it off if we can but i think that alongside some of the other images that we've created would work quite well hopefully that's given you an idea of how we can create photographs on discord either from scratch using complete ai tools and instructions or how we can adapt images that we've uploaded as i mentioned there's a trade-off for both if we upload an image we get more accurate results in terms of what we're after but we've got a little bit more work to do on photoshop to get the images to work as we want if we're in a bind and we're really struggling to get results using photographs this becomes a very handy alternative i'm going to be creating quite a bit more content on ai tools and web design and how we can integrate these into our projects Stay tuned, please subscribe and like this video and we'll be back with some more in the near future. Cheers.